Hello everybody and welcome to this week's technology tip. With this week's tech tip, I want to share with you how to create a QR code and show you a couple of different ways that you can use them in your classroom. So what is a QR code? Chances are you've seen these around in a whole bunch of places, but maybe didn't know what to do with it. Well, a QR code is a two-dimensional barcode that can represent data. The QR part stands for quick response. The way that it works is you have a smartphone or a tablet that has a QR scanner on it, and then you have some physical media that might have the QR code actually on it. So what you want to do then is use your smartphone or your tablet, and you want to use the camera that's built in to scan that code. Now once you scan it, the software will actually go out and link to this out there on the internet, and it could be a wide variety of resources as long as it's digital and has an address. It could be a YouTube video, it could be just a regular web page out there, or it could be a document that you put up on your Google Docs. Now you've probably seen these out there in a lot of different places. You frequently will see them in the newspaper or in magazines. You also will see them on like store windows. Every once in a while, you might even see them on tombstones. Some people have started putting QR codes on their tombstones to show a video of their loved one so that people can remember them always. Then there's also some examples that I'm not exactly sure I understand why they would do this. Uh, for example, if I'm driving in my car, I don't think that it would be very safe to use my QR scanner on my phone to take a picture at the back of a truck or on a, an overhead pass or, or a billboard. So I'm not exactly sure what people were thinking there. The other day, I went to go get gas and I realized that they have QR codes on the handle, the nozzle for the gas to pump it. So what was really confusing about this was right next to that, they had a message that said, turn off cell phones and other electronic devices. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do in order to use my scanner if I can't have my phone on. But anyway, you might be asking yourself, how can I use QR codes in my classroom? Well, there's a number of different ways. One way is that you can use it as a warm-up activity. As the students come into the room, you could be projecting it up on the screen, and they can use their devices, and they can scan it, and it could take them to maybe a tutorial video, or a worksheet, or a survey that you have created electronically. Another option is to actually embed it onto the student worksheets. This way, there might be some a sample problem that you are showing a video on how to solve. Well, they scan this, and it shows them the video, and then as they're watching the video, they go through and they could be answering some of those questions alongside of it. At the elementary level, in student centers, this is a great way. Now, this actually shows off uh, QR task cards, where each one of these cards here has a QR scanner, and the kids have to scan it, and it gives them the directions of what they need to do at that center. So, a pretty creative idea there. If you are in a tech ed or a science classroom, you might have some safety videos that are important for specific equipment. So this here is showing a QR code that is part of using this important tool. So it shows off some safety. Another great way to use QR codes is to use it as a ticket out the door. And here I'm showing that I have a survey that I created in Google Docs and I just made a QR code out of the address for this and um, as the students are getting ready to leave the classroom they just scan it and then they can answer the quick questions and it's, it's a great way to get important information from the kids. So there's a couple of different ways that you can use it. So now let's talk about how do you create the QR code. Well for every QR code there's kind of three main important sections. The first is you need to have your digital content. As I mentioned before this could be a YouTube video, it could be a video that you created and uploaded, it. Um, it could be a helpful reading resource that's out there on the internet, or it could be a document that you created and you want the kids to have, so you use the QR code as kind of a shortcut for them to get there. So once you have your digital content, then you need the second piece of this, and that is an actual QR code generator. In a few moments, I'm going to show you there's a whole bunch of great free ones out there. There's also some premium ones if you want to pay a little bit of money for some extra bells and whistles. But there's a whole bunch of websites out there that count as using a, to be your code generator. The third part is you need the devices that have the QR scanner. Most of the time these are apps. There's a lot of great free apps out there. 
Um, you could go out and you could pay a little bit extra money for some of the premium ones, but so far I found, you know, just go to your app store on your device and type in QR scanner. You'll find a whole bunch, a lot of variety, and again, it comes down to preference. Now, before we go any further, I just want to show you um, for this presentation, for this tip, I did find some really awesome images out there, so I wanted to cite the sources there so that if you want to go and find any of those out there, you can use these links. All right, the first thing that you need to have is you need to have your digital content. Here I have a video that I've uploaded onto YouTube, and because it's here, I can just scroll down and I can click on share, and it will give me a link. So this is what I want to link to this video to show the kids. So all I need to do is I can copy this. And now I need to go to a Google search and I'm just gonna type in at the top QR code generator. And you'll see that there's gonna be a whole bunch of different QR code generators out there. I'm just going to go through and I'm going to select this one here, the QR code generator from the QR code generator.com. I've used this one before. It's pretty simple, very easy to use, and it's free. So when I click on it, once the page loads here, you'll see that there is um, some things that I could do. One of the sections, I could actually just have it be text. And if it's just text, I could have it that the kids scan this code, and whatever text I type in here is the message that they'll see. So that's a pretty neat thing to do. Um, here is what I'm looking for is I would like to have the URL because I have that address of that YouTube video. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to enter that URL. And here's my URL and it will automatically create my QR code over here. So I could either take a, a screenshot of this or I could go up and click on save. If I click on save, I'm using my Mac. So here it pops it up. So it saves it as an image file. I can now take this image file and I can paste it directly into my Word document or I could put it into a PowerPoint presentation or my keynote. That way I could have it projecting on the screen at the top. All you need then is your device that has your QR code scanner on it and depending on which app you're using for your scanner, you're going to have a different series of steps to go through but they're all pretty self-explanatory and they, a lot of them have a nice little tutorial for it too. So I hope you found this useful. I hope you could use this in a couple of different ways in your classroom. If you have any questions on how to use this, please feel free to let me know. I'll be more than happy to meet with you and uh, work with you on it. So that's about it for this tip. So have a great week. See you next week.